Hello guys, this is Camacho Crypto once again with another video. Today I will show you how to run within the Substratum network in the decentralized web. Well, first of all, I do want to give you a small background. I've been a Substratum holder since quite a while back ago. I believe in the project and what they're building and actually what they've built already because currently their beta version already came out a few days ago. Okay, so what is Substratum? It is the foundation of the decentralized web. It, they're actually building uh, how you can surf in a free internet. Free from rules, from governments, etc. So today, I will show you step by step how to run that nod or run within the Substratum network. So it can be more easy for you to see and be able to apply it as well. Okay, first of all, go ahead and go and download the link in the description. Once you download that link, you will have this folder called Substratum Nod. Okay, now within this folder, you will find these instructions. These instructions will teach you step by step. Now, step two, first of all, you have to install the visual community. So let's go ahead and install that. You want to make sure you run all of this as admin. Why? Because this way you don't have any interference while you're installing it. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and wait until it's done installing it. Here to install it, you simply click on continue. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video until it's where I need to show you guys the next step. Okay guys, it just finished installing. Now this part is important. You must select desktop development with C++. Once you select it, click on install. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it once again. Okay guys, so it just finished installing Visual Studio Community. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and click not now on restarting so it will restart later on yeah. we can go ahead and close this now step two um, I mean step three we're gonna go ahead and install Visual Studio build tools so over here in the same folder you were before we're gonna have the Visual Studio build tools double click on it click on run as admin this will make sure the installations goes through just fine by the way sorry about the background noise it, I'm actually in my office which I have a couple of mining rigs in there so that's why it sounds like fans moving around okay so now that here it's installed we're gonna go ahead and click continue it's gonna go ahead and install this should be quick so I'm not gonna go ahead and fast forward the video Okay, once it is done installing, we're gonna get this. Select the first option once again, same as when you installed the community, Visual C++, and go ahead and click on install. This should only take a few minutes over here. Once it is done installing, you will see this over here, 100% unloaded and 100% finishing it up. Okay, so it just, finished downloading now we can go ahead and close this we're gonna go ahead and go to step 4 install rust so in the same folder we were before we simply go back and back here's the subtraction not folder that you downloaded click on rust and click on run as once again Here's gonna ask you one to proceed with installation. Go ahead and type one to enter. It's simply gonna go ahead and install all the packages that it needs for Rust. This might take a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video again. Okay, once it is done installing everything, you will see this press enter to continue. You simply press enter and it's done. Now we're going to go ahead and jump to step 5, install git bash. So we go back to the subscribe node holder you downloaded. Go to git bash, 
464 bit which is my operating system how do you do to check this I'm gonna show you very quick just in case you don't know how to check what operating system you are using you simply go to this PC right click on it and click on properties here you're gonna see the system type 64 bit okay so let me go ahead and run this as admin one second here you just simply have to click next it's a lot of next so just keep on clicking on it okay and it is almost done installing Now we're going to go ahead and uncheck this and click on finish. Perfect. Now here on step 6 you have to go to the following path. Okay. Now this is, I put the path here if you have the substratum not older in your documents. So I have it in my documents, right? But what you need to do is actually simply copy the path within the substratum not master so we're gonna go here and then not okay so right here we click on the bar click ctrl c now we're gonna go ahead and open cmd we're gonna right click on it and run as admin okay now as it says step seven we already clicked on it and run handling step eight we're gonna go ahead and type cd and the folder path this way it will switch to the folder path so we're gonna go cd folder path hit enter perfect we're there now the next step is simply to type cargo and hit enter as it says in here perfect so we're gonna go ahead perfect now after you typed in cargo and you hit enter it brought you this part then you type cargo space build and hit enter once again just how it says right here now we simply wait for it and then we only have three more steps left And I'm gonna fast forward until it's done installing. Okay, just to resume a little bit here, it was actually um, stuck on updating, so I had to click enter. That's it. Within CMD, and it continued downloading the rest. So let's wait until it's done. Once it is done installing, you will see this. This does take quite a couple minutes, just so you guys know. Okay, we can go ahead and close this now. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the following step, step 9. In the same folder we're in, where we copied the path, go to CI, run the old script. What is this going to do? It's simply going to go ahead and test that everything is fine. So just leave it running there, it takes a few minutes. Okay guys, that takes a while to install it. Once that is done, you will get this message, remember to click allow access. Perfect, and we are done with step 9. Now step 10 is simply to change the DNS servers. I want to make something clear here. If you change these DNS servers, you need to write down the ones you have set up before. Why? Or if you had an automatic, change that back. Because once you change these DNS servers, you will no longer have access to the internet in your computer. You will have to revert this, uh, just this step 10, in order to have a regular internet access without running within the substratum 9. Okay, so let me show you this. We're going to go ahead and go into control panel. 
we're going to go into network and internet network sharing center then change adapter settings here depending on whether you're get internet or wi-fi you're going to go ahead and right click on it and click on properties we're going to look for the fourth fifth option which says internet protocol version for tcp ipv4 and click on properties this is very important so remember if you want to revert this change what we're going to change here is select this option and type the dns manually if you want to change this you simply come back here and click on obtain dns servers address automatically and that's it it will work perfectly fine once again okay so now we're going to go ahead and copy this ip that i posted here which is better uh, is basically the one for your router basics now we're going to go ahead and click ok and that's it we have officially changed that DNS servers. Something else you can do it so you can refresh fast. You can disable this network device and you can enable this network device that will basically make the DNS take into effect right away. Awesome. Now here in order to run within the substratum node we're gonna go ahead and open CMD as admin again and we're gonna go ahead and put in here this special folder. So what we're going to go ahead and put is the following. First of all, open CMD. Remember to click run as admin. Here within the CMD, as the instruction states, we need to be in the folder of target release. So let me go back. We're here in the substratum node folder you downloaded. You click on substratum node fast, um, master, then you click on node where we were before, target is a new folder you will now have then release you're simply going to go ahead and copy this path over here type in here cd space the path hit enter perfect now we're going to go ahead and type the following we're going to go ahead and type nod dns space DNS servers 8.8.8.8, which are actually the Google DNS. So we're going to go ahead and type this in here and hit enter. Now, before I do that, I want to show you how we don't have any internet. As I said, we're going to go ahead and show you how we don't have any internet. So, for example, try to go into Google, it won't work. Try refreshing the substratum.net website, it will not work. So we're going to go ahead and here run within the knot of Substratum, hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're simply going to be able to have internet access as you can see. We're going to go ahead and load the Substratum network website and there we go. We are officially surfing within the Substratum network in the decentralized web. So guys please go ahead and if you have any questions leave it in the comments i promise i will reply to all and each one of you guys and as well don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on twitter camacho crypto for any major updates and have a wonderful day and enjoy